Having a weekly or daily cleaning routine is very important as a homemaker, stay at home mom, working mom, to maintain a home and to make life more simple. So I'm gonna share my daily and weekly cleaning routine with you that I have revised from several years ago and just how helpful it is to be able to do a room a day or several tasks a day to help you not feel stressed at the end of the week or just put it all in one day and do a major house clean. Breaking things up into sections each day is so helpful. So I did this a couple years ago, like I said, and shared that video here on YouTube with you. And for today, I'm just gonna walk you through my days and share a little bit of what is done and um, hopefully motivate you to continue your habit of cleaning things daily or to start a new habit or routine. So for Mondays, this is my major sheets and towel laundry day. And I will also clean the laundry slash back porch room. So with the sheets and towels, I'll strip all the sheets, my toddler bed, my crib, and our queen bed and wash all those and put them back on that day. I do have an extra pair of sheets for winter time for a queen bed but and a crib sheet. So I'll rotate those out, but then my toddler bed, I should get an extra pair of sheets for a set of sheets for her but I'll just put them on again that day. I guess that's the perk of being a stay at home mom is I have the time to be able to put it right back on after the laundry is finished. So I will do the laundry and then I will take time to clean out my back porch. So our laundry is right by our back door where we enter all the time. Our dog sleeps in our back porch. It's just a small space. And so that is where we have our laundry and our coat drop off, boot drop off, summer toy drop off. So it needs a good cleaning weekly. I'll clean the washer and dryer first, of course, put things back that may have been set on top of them, um, wherever they may be need to put back to. I'll wipe down the fronts of the washer dryer. I'll run like a wash um, clean cycle, clean out the dryer vent. That I do that every time after, but just get it more clean, wipe things down. Then I will dust some of the walls, some of the little shelves we have, make sure rugs are shaken out, the floor is clean, that dog hair is out of there, especially since that's where clean laundry gets rotated. So it's a space that I love having because laundry is really accessible, accessible, but it's also challenging because it is our back porch and it is not large at all. So that is what it is, but that is the day I dedicate to cleaning that area and doing that type of laundry. So what I do on Tuesdays is our bedrooms then. So sometimes I'll end up doing the bedrooms the day I do the sheets, but that does not often occur. So for the bedrooms, I will get the dust bunnies that are in the corners, even on the ceilings. I'll clean our ceiling fan, the lights. I don't regularly take down the curtains and wash them, but on a more detailed week, I will do that in both the girls' room and my or our master bedroom which they're the same size, and I'll wash those, I'll wipe down the curtain rod, get any cobwebs that are hanging from the curtain rods, I'll wipe down our wood blinds, because they get dusty, even in the winter months they get dusty, and wipe the window sills, any surface I'll wipe down, or the girls will help me wipe down, and then on, again, more detailed weeks, I will pull out our bed behind it and vacuum the floor, wipe the hardwood floor behind the bed, it's just crazy how dirty those get on a weekly basis. I will vacuum our little rug that we have also and wipe the hardwood floor. Any fingerprints on light switches or on doors, that's also wiped down. So it's just kind of a good once over. It takes a good 30 minutes probably to do both rooms, but when you have little girls that like to help in their way, it's nice to get them involved as well. All right, Wednesday is my kitchen deep clean. So to begin with, I sometimes do the some of the cleaning during nap time that my girls have in the afternoon. I'll finish the rest of it in the evening after the kitchen is put to bed per se. So I'll make sure to wipe off the table, of course, wipe down the chairs, wash my little girl's high chair and her cover that goes on that. There's always crumbs, I'll vacuum that out. Then I'll wipe down all the cupboard fronts because I do have white. 
make sure to get the grime off of those. Um, and then I will also do the appliances. I'll wipe that down. And all my cleaner I use most of the time is an all-purpose vinegar and lemon essential oil and water. So it's really not much more than that. So it's just an all-purpose cleaner I use pretty much everywhere in my house. Wiping down counters, wiping down um, surfaces. I'll use dust rags for the surfaces, of course. And then I'll make sure to do Barkeeper's Friend on my sink and my stove top. I'll even wash the vents for the stove hood, which is under our microwave actually, and just suds it up, use good soap, and scrub it down. That's more of a deeper cleaning. Wipe the stove door on the inside even. And then I finally finish up with a good cleaning of the floor because I am spot cleaning the floor and swiffering our floor uh, throughout the week. So that happens regularly, but this more deep clean is on a Wednesday. My Thursdays is my bathroom deep clean. So again, we have a small bathroom. We live in a thousand square foot home. So this doesn't, if you have a larger home, it might take you a few more days and longer to do these tasks. However, like I said, with a thousand square foot home, this can all be done and accomplished in like half hour each day. So Thursday with the bathroom, I will take down the shower curtain and the liner, wash those, wash the rugs, clean out the shower, and again, I go to my barkeeper's friend and a magic eraser. Magic erasers, oh, I also use those on my kitchen cabinets too. So there, those are my staples to have for cleaning. I'll wipe down the sink and the mirror. walls because small bathrooms you have a husband you have boys wipe down the walls around the toilet clean the toilet we get build up in our toilet bowl in the bottom so I will use some stone with a hand um, scrubber to scrub out some of that staining that occurs it seems to work pretty well it doesn't get all the corners as well as I'd like but it gets most of that build up off of there and then I finish with wiping down my floors and if I didn't wash towels or I want to rewash towels, I'll hang up some fresh ones, grab a new hand towel because I rotate those out a couple times a week with little girls. So the bathroom deep clean, it's another, it just takes time throughout the day, especially when you have things to wash and put back out. So that is Thursday's cleaning. Fridays I like to do my hallway and our living area. So we host our Sunday school or Bible study Sunday morning, so it's nice to get that living this living area done on a couple days before we have people over for our bible study and so with the hallway i'll first of all wipe the floors down get all the hair and the dust bunnies off um, i will also sometimes wipe the walls if girls have walked by with sticky fingers again magic eraser is key for if there's crayon streaks um, i do that here in my living space anywhere there's little girls or little kids who have pencils, markers, crayons, that magic eraser is a must. Wipe down some of the dirt off the walls and then I will vacuum our rug that we have. On occasion I'll take it out and shake it outside. I don't do that on a weekly basis. Now it's maybe something I should do because I'm sure there's dirt and dust that builds up in there but I do vacuum it out on a weekly basis. And then just get corners. I do like to get my baseboards in the hallway in the living area quite often since it is more of a visible space to the public and everything is white in our house on the baseboard so dusting all those off and getting the grime off of there is important as well and then for the living area again i just work top to bottom get the lights get all the window sills i won't always wipe down the blinds in the living area every week because it we do have a few windows in the living area and it takes time but i will do some um, because again, dust builds up every week. I'll wipe down the TV with a certain rag that I use, this trunk that I use for our TV stand. Then I 
will vacuum the furniture off, look to see if there's anything in the furniture, like snacks, clips, crayons, whatever might have gotten shoved under there. And just again, get all of that clean, um, clean the hair off, and then vacuum the floor because I like to have everything fall from top to bottom and get that clean. Another rug in our living space here, I don't always go out and shake out either. So it's, um, I think it's like a 9 by 12 rug or 8 by 10. So it's under the furniture too, so I don't take it out and shake it out. But I do vacuum it actually a couple of times a week. So I don't just vacuum this living space area on that Friday. It does happen. It probably actually happens on Monday and Friday just after people have been here on Sunday and then to freshen up for the weekend as well. And just cleaning my black piano off with also like a Norwex window cloth because those are important to wipe down. I use those that Norwex window cloth on my TV screen and just get things, fingerprints, and all of the grime off of those surfaces. So that is the inside of the home. So for Saturday, I don't do a whole lot. If it is summertime, springtime, nicer than today, negative 25 wind chill, I will do like a quick car clean out. I'm always trying to take things trash out of the vehicle when I do go places. So I might vacuum it out. Um, if we need to restock tissues, if I need to restock snacks, reorganize the toys in the vehicle, and then I'll do some outdoor like deck sweeping and cleanup. I do have a lot of gardening in the summer I do, so that's a daily thing. So outdoors is more of just like making sure things look decent and are arranged well. Pull up the trash can from the day before of the garbage coming on Friday. So just little tasks. My husband helps with a lot of the outdoor stuff. He'll also help on the inside too. So it's not just me doing all of this, but it is nice to have these six days and do a room a day to accomplish some of these tasks. So I will hopefully be able to share a weekly printable with you or just at least a list of what I do down below in the description box because I think it's important to be able to see what we're doing, have a checklist because that's just so helpful in my mind to see what I need to get done. And if you have older kids or a husband who is very willing to help, it is nice to also let them see that too. So it's the time of year to be motivated to start some new routines, start some goals, and hopefully this cleaning routine schedule will help you out with that. So I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in the next video.